it's Ashley Juvenile Cakes here and today we are going to be doing a pull up money cake. First, we must wrap each bill in a plastic wrap and seal it with tape. For a more uniform look, clear tape is suggested. Do this for each bill. Make sure before you even start wrapping the money, you sanitize each bill before putting it in the plastic wrap. That way we are staying clean and healthy. Now that we have finished connecting the bills with clear tape, wrap the bills around a straw. When you're using a straw, make sure you use a large straw. Continue wrapping the bills around the straw. As you're wrapping the bills, make sure you're wrapping them tight and secure. Take a small pen and pop any air bubbles that you see in the plastic wrap. That way you will have a cleaner, smoother, and more tight finished product. When you are done wrapping the bills, take a piece of tape and seal the bills together. That way they stay in place and they stay secure. For this next part, we need to put the money into a container. Create a cylinder container made of plastic with an opening at the top for the celebrant to grab the money from. When you do that, open the seal that you made with the money and put a bigger piece of tape on the top. When you make that tape, fold it together so that it's easy for the celebrant to grab when they are grabbing the money out of the cake. Put the money in the container, close the container up, and seal any loose ends for security. This next part's important. Take a long stick that you will put through both ends of the cake and put it right through the straw in order to secure the money inside the container. That stick will be put from one end of the cake to the other so that when the money is pulled out, it'll be able to pull out in a smooth and fast motion. Now it is time to dig a hole in the cake. Dig a rectangular shaped hole that will be big enough to hold the container of money. Place the container of money and adjust to size. Make sure the container of money is fully in the cake and is not peeking out or appearing through the top. Now remember the stick. Now is the time to pierce the stick through the cake. Make sure the stick is pierced through the straw in the middle of the money container. Adjust the stick through the cake and make sure no sides are poking out. If there is extra stick, make sure you cut it right off so it does not stick out of the cake. This stick is used to secure the money so that it rolls and flows properly. Now you are going to roll some fondant. In this case, we chose white fondant, but you are free to choose whatever color of fondant you want. This fondant will be used to make the border of the cake. To create the border, you are going to have to cut a cake size hole. There is no perfect measurement for this, so cut and paste and try your best. Before placing the border, make sure you frost the cake as you desire. We use buttercream. To make the border, you are going to have to use a little bit of water or a little bit of honey as the adhesive. Both are perfectly fine and they are up to you. 
Place the fondant on the board and roll it around until you have completed the full circumference of the board. Seal the money in with some frosting and make sure you do some final touch-ups to the body of your cake. Leave the grip out that you made out of tape so that the celebrant will be able to grab the money easily. For a seamless and easy grab, attach the cake topper to the grip. Now is the time for your creativity to run wild. Decorate the cake as you desire, putting any frosting, any sort of buttercream decorations that you please. Keep on decorating and put in some final touches to your cake. Finally, using hot glue, add a border to your cake board for a complete design. For the best and final step, pull out your money and enjoy your cake. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, share it to friends, and subscribe to Ask Jamil Cakes. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications to be the first to know when we upload a new video. See you next time.